So I was having dinner last night, right? Yes. Tell me more. Well, it's more of a sandwich, really. And on the side, I had some chips and some cottage cheese and some cheddar cheese and some ham and apple and orange because, you know, I like to eat healthy and uh, some ravioli and some SpaghettiOs. Ravioli and SpaghettiOs? Yeah. And hamburger. On the side? Well, I like to have a lot of variety in my meals. Otherwise, I, I tend to overeat, you know? You got a problem, man. Oh, do I? Liquid paper? May I continue my story, please? No one's stopping you. All right. So, yeah, I had a hamburger on the side and some jello and a banana. Wait. Why didn't you list that before with the fruit? Because I eat it at a completely different part of the meal. I'm not an animal, Schmidt. Yeah, well, you could still list them together. What difference does it make? Oh, I don't know. I just like things categorized, okay? Apples, oranges, ham, bananas, they go together. It helps give a little bit of order in this crazy mixed-up world of ours. Are you through? Yes, I'm through. Can I finish my story now? Yes. You may finish your story, please. All right, where was I? Uh, oh, um, I had some ho-hos and some pickle loaf. I mean it, man. You seriously got a problem. Yes, I know. And uh, so I'm eating a sandwich, and then all of a sudden, I reach over and I pick up the ho-hos. And then I put them on the sandwich. What? That's not all. Then I took the jello, and I put it on top. And then I took the chips, and I put that on. And then I put both the cheeses, and the ham, and then the fruit, all the fruits, and then both the pastas. And then I had the entire meal basically between these two slices of bread. What the hell is wrong with you, man? And then it got crazy. See, I took more slices. And I, and I started to encase the entire thing in, in slices of bread. And I started to, to pack it in like it was a, like a giant snowball. Just a big, tightly packed ball of food. And then I ate it. And you know what? What? It was good. I mean, it was really good. I'd have it again. I call it a sandwich bowl. You know, you can have all kinds of different types of sandwich balls. There should be a restaurant that serves sandwich balls. Nothing but sandwich balls. An entire meal in a sandwich in a bowl. You're a genius. What? I I'm serious. That's genius. You should do it. What? The restaurant. You should absolutely do a sandwich ball restaurant. No. A food truck. A food truck would be perfect. A sandwich ball food truck to cross the country in. Come on, you're messing with me. I've never been more serious in my life. Don't be an idiot, Schmidt. Does this look like the face of an idiot? Now that's not fair. I know a good idea when I hear one, and this, this sandwich ball thing is a great idea. You should totally do it. Wow, really? Yes! I... I don't know. I mean, it never occurred to me to open a restaurant. I, that's something I really have to think about. What's to think about? Hell, I'll be your partner. You and me, we can get this thing off the ground. Really? Yes. You and me? Yes. Why not? Let's do this. Yes. Yeah. All right. I mean, I'm going to have to make some phone calls. Right. We'll have to look around. Maybe we, we can see a uh, maybe a, a used food truck or something. And, uh, right, right. I mean, you know, to get this thing started, it's probably going to cost us about, I don't know, maybe 20 grand or so. Oh, I'm No food truck? What, I have to kick in the sandwich balls? <laughs>